Greetings folks and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and start talking about the right hand side of the mapping window. And something you may have noticed is that there's two tabs. You have an instrument tab and a MIDI nodes tab, okay? The first one I'd like to focus on is the instrument tab. Here you'll find the name of the kit piece which you have selected at that moment. For example, right now we have the kick drum selected. Now I have the snare, rack tom one, rack tom two, so forth and so on. Next, you'll notice a note display. Now, this will display the note or notes that are associated with any particular articulation. Let me show you what I mean. For the center articulation on floor tom one, if we right click the note section, we'll see that there are in fact two notes that are associated with the center articulation. The one that we can see right here is G1, whereas E negative two. Let's go down to the lower register, and there we go. E negative two right there, or E minus two, however you want to say it. And if we were to right click and choose another articulation, we'll see that there's a different note displayed, D sharp four. And if we were to right click the display, we'll see that is in fact the only note associated with that particular articulation. Now let's try rim only. We'll see that D four is associated, but are there any other ones? Nope doesn't look like it. So that's what the display is for. Next, you'll see that there's a delete button. And what this will do is just that. It will delete the note that you have selected at the moment for that articulation. Let's go ahead and give it a shot real quick by pressing delete. And now you'll see that D4 is just turned white. That means there is no kit piece associated with that note any longer. But what is the learn function? Well, depending on what articulation you have selected, you can press learn and it will act just like the learn function did in the construct window in the instrument section. By engaging the learn function, we can now go ahead and press a key on our keyboard and teach it that articulation. I've decided to go ahead, as you can see, and go back to D4. And you can do that with anything. It's quite convenient, especially if you have E drums and you'd like to customize your mapping. Simply choose an articulation, press the learn function, and then hit whatever kit piece on your e-drums you'd like to assign that articulation to, okay? Moving right along, in this window, you will see a list of the articulations for the kit piece that you have selected. For example, right now we're looking at floor tom one and there's three articulations for that particular kit piece. However, for the kick drum, there's only one articulation, the right kick. Now you can hear this articulation by simply left clicking or right clicking. The difference between left clicking and right clicking is that by left clicking, you will just preview the sound. However, if you right click, you will actually select that particular articulation. And you may have noticed something else. Down here on the keyboard, there are some keys that are blue and orange. Well, the key colors reflect the articulations we have selected. If you'll notice, the selected articulation I have is a rim shot and it is orange. Boom, there's the orange key right there. That's my rim shot. If I were to right click or control click on another articulation, you'll see that the orange keys are now in a different place. By right clicking on the display, we'll see they are F sharp three and G sharp three, and we can confirm that by looking at our virtual keyboard. So in a nutshell, blue represents articulations that are associated with a kit piece, but are not selected. Orange keys represent articulations that are associated with that kit piece and are selected. So it's pretty easy once you mess with it. Now on the kit piece, like the snare drum, you'll see that there are a lot of articulations and sometimes you'll have the scroll bar right here. You can click and drag to go down or up. Or if you have a mouse wheel, you can go ahead and utilize your mouse wheel by going up or down. The next button is the select all button and it will do just that. It'll select all the articulations in the window at the same time. To deselect them, simply right click on a kit piece and you're back to the norm. But that covers the top portion of the instrument section. I want y'all to stick with me because in the next video, we're going to go ahead and start talking about the velocity control section right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.